In this video, I just want to talk about the Ethereum pattern. I believe that Ethereum is uh, nothing more than a expanded correction since the lows, right? And a lot of the evidence can be seen with simply put the correction at the lows. There's just one zigzag down followed by a zigzag up uh, in total, uh, an expanded one over time. Uh, some bits and pieces in the middle to reveal the pattern. Now, I've, I came up with this idea probably like a few weeks ago, but I just thought I'd sit on it for a while to see if it you know, made sense two weeks later. And look, I, I must say it, it does. It really does, I believe, hold some ground. Uh, and I think that you know the initial move up when this whole thing launched was probably the impulsive move wave one, followed by an A, B, and I believe that we're now in a C, wave C pattern, right? Uh, this particular move at the highs, I think is just a wave one, A, B, C, D, E, where you can see the E wave is just really, really weak, sort of trying to head back towards the end of wave one, which is typically where wave two corrections can end if they come back in this particular type of expansion. Uh, a CDE pattern in general looks like this, but typically makes just that one more high above the C wave in a weak manner. I think that that'll lead into the next crash down uh, for wave three, right? So this that this will be basically part of the wave C moving down, right? So in terms of how it looks like after that, you know, it, 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 it it's anyone's guess. In my opinion, it's going to be a CDE pattern uh, where you get the the, the three wave bounce for for basically for wave D, right? And you know, and then followed by the wave E down. Right, so look, whether it does that in, in this particular manner like this comes all the way back down to retrace the entire move that caused the expansion in the first place, I would say so, right? To me, it makes a lot of sense that it will do that. I don't know exactly what point wave C would end versus you know, the D versus the E, but typically what I notice is that these things tend to create a pattern that ends up looking like a zigzag, right? Hence why you'd get a lot of Elioticians stepping in to probably claim the zigzag pattern has occurred and to try and validate their methodology, which I believe is incorrect. But then again, in this world, who can you tell what is incorrect or not? We could all be looking at the same thing in a different, a million billion different ways. But anyway, that's just my opinion. And I think that, yeah, look, this is a common theme across the board. Uh, we all know that Bitcoin is the the granddaddy of all cryptos, so therefore, you know, it would have produced this proper large five wave move since that time. I think that you know whatever's coming down the pipe, you know, uh, these markets are getting ready for, you know, hedging the craziness in the markets due to money printing moving forward to you know, basically put a band aid on the broken leg again once this uh, big crash happens. Uh, I, I think it will happen within within the next year. Um, I think it'll be like a pretty big deep crash that'll recover pretty quick once they start injecting the liquidity necessary rather than trying to take it out. Whether it's all planned or not is another story. I'm not going to get into that here. But just in general, you know, like these expanded type of corrections, I believe, occurred due to, you know, trying to piggyback off the success of Bitcoin, not necessarily intentionally or maybe so. I don't know. You be the judge. But in terms of the longer term picture, I think that it's just part of a corrective process as it gets ready to be the future, to, to basically slot in and replace certain parts of the uh, financial system that's currently, you know, now becoming outdated uh, in various ways, uh, you know, in various uh, parts of the system that runs it, whether it's, you know, uh, swift you know uh the banking sector or you know just you know just generally whatever smart contracts can muster up in terms of what they're going to provide in terms of solutions moving down the you know down the road i think that that'll all sort of start coming out over the next several years heading up and you know into 2030 which by then we should probably see a lot of this uh having been rolled out already during this process but in the meantime, I think the pattern itself, it kind of, it says a lot, 
it says that yes we understand that there's a new technology it's amazing but it's still you know not quite what it, you know it's not really ready yet for showtime but by the time you know things start falling apart in the old system uh, you know this new technology will be there ready waiting at the right time uh, you know interestingly to uh, step in and you know provide a backup solution plan b all that stuff to then uh, basically replace it or begin to however you want to look at it i'm not sure uh, will this pattern unfold in this way i'm not sure uh, i'm just talking about probabilities here whether or not we see a, a massive wave c down followed by an expanded wave d up to look like what other cryptos did during 2017 you know we, we just don't know right we just don't know but you know to just assume that ethereum will be correcting long term i don't know that seems a bit of a stretch i think the there are certain parts of a correction that are usually the largest and then the rest of them aren't as large sometimes you get some corrective patterns uh, correcting the correction right like i believe c and d and e can correct the b wave if it's expanded vice versa um yeah but you know having such a small wave a there wave b large you know it's all timing it's all you know what happened when it was launched you know obviously uh it was promoted heavily in the beginning ico you know phase and you know i've heard a lot of things about how that could land certain people in trouble depending on if it's classified as a security or not or if it's commodity etc but like, like when it's all said and done the correction will be over price will move up and this will happen across the board in my opinion if it's not dead it, it'll go up right if it doesn't fail it'll move higher so that's it for now thanks for watching